All right, welcome to a, a new Let's Play. Now, this is the, the Legend of Zelda Project Aizu. And let me tell you a few things about this before we get started. Now, there's just one patch to this game. Yeah, it's called the Legend of Zelda Sacred Armor Project Aizu patch version 1.0. Now, it's just the first patch, and hopefully next year, 2016 sometime, they'll come out with another patch to this. And hopefully, eventually, they'll end up completing this baby, because it is pretty sweet. Now, this is more of what you'd think, what would happen after Majora's Mask, because, you know, it'd be a little more grown up, right? More like a teenager. So, without further ado, oh, let's get started, shall we? Alright, now, as you can clearly see, I've already started a game already, okay? And I already kind of know what to do. So, let's delete this one. Yeah, I kind of wanted to make sure I knew what to do beforehand. Yeah, and this one, the beginning of it is kind of slowish. But it's, it's fine, nonetheless. Alright. Let's begin this bad boy. So, let's go to Classic Link. Like always, Classic Link. Alright. There was once a boy whose past was a mystery. No one knew his significance until his time had come. This is the same boy who was chosen by the goddesses and given a very important role in the history of Hyrule. He was a valiant warrior, conquering all who stood in his way, de determined to fulfill his destiny. The hero of time showed Ganondorf and his evil foes no quarter he was victorious. At the end of his quest, he parted ways with someone irreplaceable. He soon embarked on a journal journey in search of them. Shortly, he found himself caught up in much more than he expected. In spite of that, he returned to his role of heroism to rescue this new land. The legend of this boy continues. Alright, so we start in some kind of jail cell. Now, I got Moon Jump on, but I will try to not do it, so I'll probably do some, a few save states. Yeah, I got like a, a cool little cheat on where he does like the Majora's Mask um, thing. And I also got, um... The, um... What's it called? You see, you see, normally, if I didn't, if there's this one cheat I have on that makes it so it doesn't pause so slow. I mean, it takes, like, forever to freaking pause, right? Well, I got it on, so it pauses a lot faster. Otherwise, it would probably crash every time it paused, so I have, like, a little hack on for that. All right. Now, we start, like, in some kind of prison cell, and as you see, the map is of uh, Kokori Village. Now, this place is really annoying um, when you get in here because there's all these freaking keys flying around. So, But what you want to basically do is jump up on these barrels here and then you want to jump on to this next one over here while all at the same time trying to avoid the bats. So I'm going to do a safe state right here. Alright. As I'm on the thing. Alright. So what you want to do is do another safe state. Okay. You want to you wanna hope to God that those bats don't get you. Basically. The trick is to move around... Alright, save state. Alright. Now I want to get up over here. Ugh. Load state. Alright. Now they're going to come after me again. Save state. Ah, oh, I did load state. Crap. Ugh. Okay, they're going to all come after me here. Ah, oh, say load state. See, this is very irritable. 
You want to get these damn bats something to think about. All right. Freaking save the damn state. Save state. Oh, I did a load state shit. If only I had some way of killing those bastards. Yeah, you want to keep on your toes because if you don't, those bats are going to get you. So that's the trick. Just waste your hearts away, basically. I could have moon jumped up here, but I didn't. I decided not to. All right. Now, let's head on up this way. All right. Now that we're in this room, well, we want to grab these hearts, of course. I don't think we, we don't really go down there, but I'm just going to go down there to see what it is because it has been a little bit since I last did this. Now with the mo- yeah, when we will, when we get to it. I don't really think there's anything down there we can do, but no, there's really not. I don't think you can ever actually go in there, I don't think. Is there- no, it's hard to tell. Anyway, enough of that. Alright, well, let's- moving right along. Alright, let's kind of speed up a little bit to get back over here. Now, what you want to do is go through this door here. Alright, now, first thing we want to know is notify here. You see this looks like an elevator right here, but it doesn't really do anything, I know. I should have made it do something. Now, if you want to look up, see there's a ladder right there, but we can't do nothing about that now unless we were to just moon jump up there. Okay, but we're not going to do that. We're going to wait. Now, what you want to do when you first technically get into this room, you want to just go straight this way, okay? Because there's really nothing else you can do in this room until you go and get the first key. So, you want to head to this room here. And it's either left, straight, or that way. I think it's straight ahead. Now, <clears throat> now there's like spiders over here. Now, if you don't have the moon jump on, that's fine. But I'm going to show you how it's done without the moon jump. Basically, what you want to do is just try to kind of roll past these guys. And, tr and try to push A as much as you can. Alright, you want to get this guy far away or whatever. Get off me! All right, get off me now, bitch. Sorry for my language. All right, now you want to try and leave this place as fast as you possibly can before they kill you. Don't kill me. You want to roll, roll. All right, roll, roll fast. Okay. Oh, I'm done for. Son of a gun. He got me. I didn't quite get away. That's okay. All right. Yeah, what I like to save. Why not? Okay, continue playing. Now I'm just gonna do the moon jump to get back up there. Okay, guys. I'm not gonna bother going through that ordeal again. All right. I'm just going to moon jump up there. But you get the gist of how you're supposed to get back up there. And if you want the moon jump code, I'll put a description for the link in the in the link up uh, in. in I put I put a link in the description for the moon jump code, okay? Actually, you know what? I won't put a link for it. I'll just put the moon jump code in there. And I'll also um, put an annotation. Um, yeah. I'll put an annotation on my video thing to show you a link to a video on how to put the moon jump code in automat manually, okay? All right. Oh, we don't want to go that way. I think it still counts that we got the key. Okay. It doesn't really show a key. All right. Now, this part's a little hazy. I think we need to head to... Uh, man, I'm lost. Okay. Let's see here. Um, hmm. I kind of forgot where I'm supposed to go. That's kind of horrid. But I think I'm... S hmm. Oh, I think maybe I just go back into this room here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Now I remember where I'm, where I'm supposed to go. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. For a minute there, I was lost. Totally my fault. That's right. We gotta go into this room. Alright. Now, once we get that key... We want to use it for this door here, okay? Alright. Now, 
You see this pot over here in that corner and that guy right there? But what you want to do is you want to pick up this pot here, all right? And just lock onto this guy and throw the pot at him, all right? And that gets rid of him. And then it pop makes a chest appear. Before it gets a chest, I'm going to break those crates first. Because they're just, they're just asking to be head bashed. Not the wall. Come on. Yeah, I should have did this for like the actual the Voyager of Time thing, dressed him up like that in that kind of texture. That's what I would have done anyway. Seems more realistic. But that's just me. Alright. Now, I think what's in this chest is... Oh, yep. Yeah, my... I found a, so found a sword. It's old and the blade is chipped. Eh, no time to be picky. Okay, now what we want to do is equip it. Okay, equip the sword. It's kind of cool looking. Yeah, say. Ooh, cool, wicked sword. It definitely does look chipped. <laughs> kind of like it. Alright, I like the texture on it. It's like old and yet new at the same time. Cool. You know, those barrels are from Majora's Mask, I'm pretty sure. Alright, now, now that we're back in here and we have our sword. What we want to do next is go back here, I think. Yeah. Alright. Now we have a sword and something to whack with. I think we go to the right one, maybe? I guess I'll try it first, but I don't think it's this one. But I'm going to try it first anyway. Oh, that looks a little sharp there, doesn't it? A little clean, indeed. I don't think it's the right one. I don't think, anyway. No, it's not. We gotta have the um, hook shot for that room there. Hook shot over to that other side. All right. So it wasn't the right one. That means it's the left one then. Okay. Yep. I think it's this one. Yep. It is. Okay. Now that we have the sword, we can go up here and kill these. Do these switches or whatever. Alright. Now, we gotta hit all these switches. Well, I guess not all of them. Alright. Now, let's head over to this room here. But, ah, uh, that's right. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. If you've enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like and thanks for watching.